We present Vega Lite, a high-level grammar that enables rapid specification of interactive data visualizations. Vega Lite combines a more traditional grammar of graphics with a novel grammar of interaction. The simplest Vega Lite specification, known as a unit specification, describes a single Cartesian plot with a backing data set, a given mark type, and a set of one or more encoding definitions for visual channels. Supported mark types include bar, line, area, text, and plotting symbols. The encodings determine how data attributes map to the properties of visual marks. Each encoding identifies a field to visualize along with a given data type, one of nominal, ordinal, quantitative, or temporal. The data field can additionally be transformed using functions such as binning, aggregation, and sorting. Specifications are concise because they omit several low-level details, for example definitions for scales and guides which are automatically populated with appropriate defaults by Vega Lite. Users can override these defaults by specifying scale and guide properties in the corresponding encoding definitions. To support expressive interaction methods, Vega Lite provides an algebra to compose single view specifications into multi view displays. The layer operator accepts multiple unit specifications and produces a view in which subsequent charts are plotted on top of each other. By default, scales are shared by unioning their domains and guides are merged. Users can override this behavior, as we do here, to produce an independent y scale and axis for each layer. The concatenation operator places views side by side, horizontally or vertically. For example, here we concatenate two separate charts where the scales and guides for each plot are independent. While concatenation allows composition of arbitrary views, the facet operator produces a trellis plot by subsetting the data by distinct values. The channel indicates if subplots should be laid out vertically or horizontally, and data is partitioned by the given field. The nested specification is used as a template for each view, with quantitative scales shared by default and ordinal scales remaining independent to avoid unnecessary empty categories. Finally, the repeat operator generates multiple plots, but, unlike facet, allows full replication of a dataset within each cell. Interaction designs in Vega Lite are composed of selections. Here is the simplest definition of a selection, a name, and a type, in this case point. Selections expose predicate functions that allow us to operate on points in the selection. For example, we use a selection's predicate to color selected points based on their origin and keep unselected points gray. While the point selection allows us to select at most one point of interest at a time, changing the type to list allows us to select multiple points. Selection definitions are concise because Vega Lite fills in appropriate defaults, such as which events trigger the selection and what the predicate function tests for. In the case of list selections, by default, points are selected on click and additional points on shift click. We can override this to instead select points on mouse over, or we can select the point nearest to our mouse rather than the one directly underneath it. Similarly, the default predicate function for point and list selections looks for an exact match. We can instead use the project transform to alter the predicate to determine inclusion when items match the given fields. Besides discrete point selections, we can also select points that fall within a continuous interval with a corresponding selection type. By default, VegaLite adds a mark to represent the brush region and also instantiates a translate transform that offsets the selection's backing points, allowing us to move the brush. We can reuse the project transform here to restrict the brush to a single dimension. Selections are also datasets, and we can initialize them with specific backing points. Here, for example, we initialize an interval selection with the visualization scales. Doing so populates the selection with the given scales domains and parametrizes the scales to use the selection instead. As the translate transform is automatically instantiated for interval selections, we can start to pan the plot. By adding the zoom transform, we can zoom it in as well. We can see a more explicit version of this parametrization with an overview plus detail interaction. An interval selection in the top unit specification is used to drive the scale domains in the bottom one. Vega Lite selections can also enable custom interaction methods, such as this interactive index chart. A point selection is used to interactively renormalize stock price time series data. Finally, Vega Lite selections decompose interaction design into concise enumerable semantic units. As a result, selection parameters can be systematically varied to generate alternate interaction techniques for a given set of visual encodings.
For example, this example demonstrates a layered cross-filtering interaction. Hovering over a bar in one histogram highlights bars in the other, and by varying the selection type, we can select multiple bins on shift-click or brush a continuous interval. Vegalite is an open-source system, and we hope that it enables analysts to produce and modify interactive graphics with the same ease with which they currently construct static plots.